thank you so much for watching. So I wanna jump right in today to a makeup tutorial. Um, this is definitely gonna be another get ready with me. And yeah, let's get to it. <laughs> All right, so for primer, I'm gonna use my sample of Skin to Die For. This is a mattifying primer and it's also really good for filling and kind of adjusting your complexion. And this is by Peter Thomas Roth and I'm down to like the very end of it, but I definitely think I'm gonna purchase because it's very rare that I find a mattifying primer that I really fall in love with. So you'll notice guys, at the beginning of this tutorial, you'll see a picture of me with a completely bare face. And it's hard to show those photos because I think that unfortunately now we live in a society that is very much superficial. It's all about filters, touch-ups, fillers, enhancement, um, you know, just plumping. I mean, so many different things that you can do to your skin and to your face and to your body. And it's, it's difficult. And the thing is, there's nothing wrong with doing those things because truthfully, if I could afford to do a few things, I, I might, I'm not gonna lie. I'll raise my hand and say, I might. But um, on the downside to that, there's a lot of pressure, I think, especially um, on women to look a certain way and be a certain way. And the thing is like, I think women, we put the pressure on ourselves. like. Society definitely plays a huge role in how we view ourselves, but at the end of the day, it's like we're the ones that choose to compare ourselves to one another, right? So I'm definitely big about empowerment, and I'm definitely big on just loving the skin you're in. So that's why I wanna show, I mean, you guys see at the beginning of my videos what my skin looks like, but I wanted to show a more kind of zoomed in shot of what it's really all about and who I am underneath it all. Because it's taken me 33 years now to really fall in love with who I am and I'm still struggling to do it daily. I still have days where I just, you know, look in the mirror, don't like what I see. I try on like four, five, six outfits, no joke, and I will look at my hair and it just looks a mess to me some days or whatever. And I just, I pick myself apart and I'm like, why? Why am I doing this to myself? Why can't I just love myself? Um, why can't I just dare to be beautiful without anything? But I just put all this pressure on myself for so many years to live up to standards and look a certain way all the time. And the thing is, I gotta learn to love myself right here, right now, with like nothing. So anyway, just a thought as we get into our video today. Yes, I'm going to be putting on makeup and covering up, but at the same time, I just wanna stress the importance of really loving the canvas, if you will. Let's move on. You guys know I'm a huge fan of mixing foundations. And one thing that I mixed the other day that I really loved is the NYX, or not, excuse me, NYX, ha, the Cover FX Power Play Foundation with Flower Beauty's Light Illusion Foundation. And mostly I mixed it because of the colors and the fact that my skin is just changing so much with the sun and everything. Um, but also because I was just curious to see putting something like Power Play, which is really lightweight and really good for mixing into products into something that's a lot more hydrating and luminous. So I really liked the finish. So I'm gonna do it again today. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit with my finger. Take my Flawless Brush from e.l.f. Cosmetics and we're just gonna, I don't even know, buff. We're gonna shake and bake this on, okay? <laughs> anyway, I'm loving this coverage. I do really love the luminosity of the Flower Beauty. I don't know if you guys can see just the glow that it gives. So now I'm gonna go into, let's see, a little bit of Kylie, because I love the peach in this concealer. 
can't say it enough. It really helps with my dark circles. Take my Makeup Revolution. So I'm so excited. I ordered the new um, Huda Beauty baking powder, the Easy Bake. I'm super excited. I love Huda Foundation and I just love her in general. I love her family. They're just freaking adorable. Oh my God. But I love her little show on Facebook. I think that is so genius that they chose to go that route. And I think it's really cool for anybody that's aspiring to be in the makeup industry and especially in production and sales because I think it shows you a lot of just the reality of what goes down. So kudos to all the powerful women out there in the industry. I'm just taking my Real Technique sponge now and just merging everything together. I've been doing this a lot lately and I like it. It's like a final step of just blending and merging. I'm gonna go in and use my Fairlight powder from Fit Me because I used this the other day and I really, really loved it and I forgot how much I enjoyed this powder and I said to myself, I need to start using more products that I have sitting around before number one, they expire. And number two, just so I don't forget about them because there's a lot of really good products out there. And sometimes I just get stuck in the same routine. I'm sure you guys do as well. So I'm just gonna change it up. And we're gonna bake our under eye with the Fit Me Powder. And definitely make sure that you look up when you do this because you don't want any creasing and cracking. I'm gonna come down my jawline. I love makeup because for as many people as I meet that watch tutorials like I do and basically like know all about contour, highlight, baking, strobe, you know, strobing, um, I always still meet people that don't know much and that's what's so fun about it because you get to always meet different types of people with different skill levels. I love watching artists at play. I mean, I just, it's my favorite part of my job is getting to work with talented makeup artists and watching their techniques and just seeing how they, how they go about picking color and choosing color for their clients and stuff. It's just so cool to me. I don't think it ever gets old, truthfully. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna use a few different palettes today because I couldn't find all the colors I wanted in just one, but predominantly working with Juvia's Place and also the Huda Beauty um, Desert Dusk Palette because this is just a great go-to, but I wanted to do something fun and colorful. So I haven't really done a lot of color in a while. And, um, I felt like, you know what, I've got to break out some more colors, Nicole. You've been doing a lot of warms, a lot of neutrals, a lot of rose golds, and now I want to go a little brighter and a little lighter for the summertime. So, okay, so going into Desert Dusk, I'm going to take this color Desert Sand, which is definitely like an ivory kind of off-white tone. Even looks like it has like a peach tone in it, um, but it's just a really pretty kind of neutral color you can put all over your lid. So we're gonna take that on a fluffy brush and work that all over from the lid to the brow bone. This is gonna help with also priming the other shadows, give them a little more life. Now I also wanna have a nice warm crease because I'm gonna be putting kind of bluish tones on the eyelid. So we're going to go into this really pretty color Eden, which is a beautiful peach, and mix that with Blazing, which is an orange. So this one right, wait, where are we? This one right here, really soft peach, and an orange like soda pop color. 
same brush this is an Anastasia A12 and I'm just mixing those two colors together and keeping it very soft and just working it right on this outside corner and in I don't want to put this too much on the lid because we're going to be putting some pretty bright blues yes okay now I want to take a Morphe M441. I'm going to put down Desert Dusk for a momento. And let's see here. I'm going to hop into the Saharan 2 palette from Juvia's Place and take that Taza or Taza color, which is more in the brown family. It's like a really nice kind of orange brown. And we're gonna work this into our crease. Like that. Back in the day, I always used to like put cool kind of grayish tones whenever I did a blue. I never used to think to do warmer tones, but I like the kind of offset and the um, opposite balance of putting something warm in your crease and then putting more blues and stuff like that onto the lid. Now we're gonna drop down to a smaller brush to an M514 from Morphe and we're gonna go into this color Fez which is really like a true rich dark chocolate. And it looks so good. It looks like a chocolate cake, you guys. It's just so good. Like cocoa, really. And we're gonna keep this also in the crease, really tapered now. So it's even smaller and tapered than the 441 brush. Last but not least, we're gonna go back into a lighter color now. So we're gonna head on over into the Huda Beauty palette again and go back into Eden, which is that soft peach color take that back on your A12 or any type of fluffy brush and just work that into the crease and soften the colors up a little bit. All right, now let's go over into the Saharan 2 palette. And I'm gonna be working with um, Berber, Berber, Barber, but it's this really pretty blue color right here. And we're gonna be kind of like a halo effect with this on the lid and then this softer, lighter blue, which I think is Chef Kahawin. Guys, sorry about this pronunciation if I offend anybody, but it's a gorgeous, light, icy blue. Kind of like the Elsa frozen blue. There you go. I'm better at describing than I am pronouncing. And like I said, if I offended anybody, I'm so sorry. But I'm gonna hit my Morphe G15 with a little Fix Plus really quick. So we can amplify this blue a little bit more. And we're gonna place this onto our eyelid right now. Now for me, I wanna kind of focus this color right here on the inside corner. And also on the outside corner. I wanna to try to leave the center of my lid clean. You can take it on the outside, leave that center portion cleaned up. But what you can do is just slightly bring it across the top here like along the crease so that you have a nice light portion here, but you have the blue, the dark blue connected to each other. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off my brush, put more Fix Plus, and go into that lighter blue, that true ice blue. And we're gonna press this now into the center of the lid where we left that nice little space. And just kind of press it back and forth in the center. 
that's why you have a nice pop of light in the middle. So to brighten up my lower lash line, I wanna take this beautiful color in here, Nomad, which is like a kind of coppery pink cranberry color. And I'm gonna take that on a very small bullet brush from BH Cosmetics. Now this is a frosted color, so definitely make sure you work it into the bristles, tap out any extra. And we're gonna run this along the lower lash line. So this is kind of more of a half halo, not a true circle. And by doing this, we're putting a little bit more definition into the look, but we're just kind of doing a totally offset color. So I'm like really living for this, guys. I love these colors. It's so beautiful. All right. Now, just to dust away any type of fallout, because sometimes with the foiled shadows, you can get a little bit of fallout. I'm gonna go back into my Fit Me powder, and I'm gonna take that on a Real Techniques, um, kind of like a setting brush here. And just whatever's kind of in the cap, just take that on the brush. And we already have powder underneath baking, but by adding just a little bit more, you're gonna kind of instill that nothing smears or runs underneath your eye. So you can dust away that fallout, but keep that bake nice and strong and keep your concealer in place. Go in and, and we still have bake down here, but what I usually do is before I go into contour, just add a little bit more especially right around my chin. So I like it really bright here. Okay, and just gonna be a good guideline for your contour and to keep your skin nice and bright in certain areas of the face. And um, just so you guys know, to counteract the brightness, because I do get questions a lot from my friends and just people I work with that find when they try to bake and they use any type of powder that's lighter than their skin, that they look too washed out. So that's why I go in with bronzer and contour. My bronzer I use to warm my complexion, so you're gonna see me put it in places that aren't necessarily where I place contour, um, probably more gently above it, into like the temples and the forehead, down the bridge of the nose, down my neck. That's gonna draw the color in, make it a little bit warmer, and kind of offset all the light tones that you have on the face. Um, because foundation's really just to even out your skin. But now we're brightening, and we're warming, and we're contouring. So hopefully that makes sense. Again, if you know what you're doing, just ignore me. <laughs> but so yeah, I'm not gonna show you guys my contour today, but I do wanna show you bronze because I feel like it's important to bronze to warm up the skin tone, especially in the summertime. So I'm gonna take a rounded fluffy brush. This is from BH Cosmetics. I swirl it into my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And I like to smile, find where the fullness is here on my cheekbone. And that's kind of where I work my bronzer and even into some of the areas that I blush, just because I want warmth there. It's gonna offset the lightness here, the lightness here, and it's just gonna add a really beautiful glow to the cheeks, to the cheekbone. And it looks like where you would get a glow from the sun. So across the forehead, you know, after you spend a day at the pool, you know it gets that like little bit of redness or tan. So we're kind of accentuating that along the chin, not under where we contour, but actually on the chin. So it's okay if you go into that baking powder there. I'm gonna come down the neck. I kind of work it in like one space two space, three space, just to kind of cover the whole neck without going shoo, 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 like all over your neck. So good old bronzer. So I'm gonna go ahead and contour and apply my blush off camera. For blush today, I'm using Milani's Coral Cove. So I want something warm and peachy on my cheeks to go with the eye look. And then we will come back and finish. 
Okay, so we are bronzed to the gods, you guys. I have my contour, my blush. I am like warmed up Havana Nights, you guys. So for brows today, I wanna go in now with my Total Temptation Brow Definer in Deep Brown. And I haven't used this one in a while, but I thought, let's give it a whirl again. It wasn't my favoriteest pencil, but sometimes you gotta go back and forth a little, change it up. And I feel like I've been using my ColourPop, my Anastasia a lot, so I needed a change. And I'm just kinda drawing into the brow on an angle. Now this is a little bit thicker and it's almost like, I'm trying to think of the shape. It kind of reminds me of the Benefit pencils a little bit. But it's a very pigmented formulation, so I can't complain there. I don't think it's bad that way. Pull the hairs down now and try to work by feathering in on the top. All right, so I'm going to set my brows using NYX Control Freak. You guys know I like this. Just a regular clear brow gel. I've even used the clear um, Great Lash Mascara in a pinch. I just like a little something, something extra. Now I'm gonna go in with a liquid liner. Um, if you don't like liquid liner, but say you love eyelashes, you can go ahead and put lashes in, um, or on rather. You can do individuals, you can do a band lash, whatever works for you, and that will take the place of your eyeliner because it'll give you a very full fanned effect, but I just happen to really love my liquid liner, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera and my mascara, and then we'll be back to finish with our lips. Okay guys, so my lashes are set, and my liner is on. Oh my gosh, this Makeup Revolution liner, you guys. Renaissance Flick. If you don't have it, get you some. I really love it. Wonderful price point. Um, very similar to the Curvitude from Maybelline, which I've used a lot in the past, but I feel like it's even more pigmented and just glides right on, so I love it. Moving into lips, I'm gonna use my ColourPop BFF lip liner and go with kind of more of like a peachy nude, kind of coincide with the warmth in the crease and the cheeks. Let's do it. And then they'll say, hey look at him, I'll never live that way, that's okay, it's just a friend change. Okay, now going into lipstick, we're gonna use Boy Lipstick, also from ColourPop, in that pinky peach nude color. And of course, charming ColourPop lip gloss, right on the bottom, lip only. Right in the center, and then blot. So to complete this look now, I wanna go ahead and set and reset. So we're gonna use our Fix Plus Pink Light from MAC Cosmetics. Okay guys, so this is the finished look and I love it, <laughs> always, I always love it. Um, yeah, so it feels really cool, very tropical, very fun. It just makes me wanna be on a beach somewhere watching a sunset. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and it was a ton of fun to create for you. Um, comment down below 
Also reach out to me, Instagram, Snapchat. Let me see you guys. I wanna see you recreate some of the stuff that I have worked on. I love feedback. I love talking to people. And you wanna talk makeup, you wanna talk music, you wanna talk movies, anything, just reach out to me. If you wanna talk about anxiety, depression, you know that I'm open ears for that, guys. So thank you so much for tuning in. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you really soon. Him, where he is these days, life is hard, you have to change.